Hey guys, so it is the day after my first gig post-COVID and I wanted to film how I'm disinfecting and cleaning my products after my gig because I think this is another, another important step to talk about. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna just show you everything that I packed. It was like a smaller gig, so I purposely did like a micro kit and I only packed what I knew she needed because this is like a repeat client. So yeah, let's go ahead and see my cleaning tools and how I, I clean the makeup. Okay guys, so here's everything I'm gonna use to clean the kit. I have um, baby wipes, my sanitizer wand, Beauty So Clean Spray, Lysol wipes, 70% alcohol spray, tissues, I might grab some paper towels too. And this is what I have to clean. So this is my brushes um, that I have in my little individual brush case. That will be washed with soap and water and then the brushes will be brush handles will be um, disinfected with alcohol so I'm not going to show that today but I'm going to show you like this is what I packed on her gig and then I just put them everything back here it's really easy and none of the brush bristles like are crushed or anything like that and I can clean the case as well then I have two individual bags I packed which um, were for the client one was eyes and lips and one with face and they're in these clear vinyl bags and then I packed some palettes so I'll show you how I clean those right now. Okay, so let's start off with my um, one of these baggies. And it's pretty much going to be the same for both bags. So basically, I'm just going to dump everything out. And then I'm going to spray the, the outside of the bag. So the bag has been sprayed with alcohol. And now I'm just wiping it with a um, paper towel. And I'm going to do the same thing on the inside of the bag. I'm going to take my 70% alcohol and spray the inside of the bag. I notice when bags get kind of um, filmy with makeup, like let's say there's makeup residue, I'll take my brush cleaner spray. This is Perion Spirit and it will help to actually like get away any makeup residue as well and it smells really good and it's also a disinfecting spray so if you feel like the bag looks kind of like streaky after you clean it you can come back in with the Perion Spirit okay so it looks nice and clean and clear so I'm gonna pretty much do the same thing to the outside of my palettes and all these little tools so what I'm going to do now just to make my life easier is just take a Lysol wipe. So it says kills 99.9% of bacteria and viruses. So if you can't get these, obviously these are kind of harder to get. You can do the alcohol as well. Or there are other cleaners like C3 um, is great for outside like hard services like packages and pallets. So I'm going to just kind of get the pallet. And the inside of the palette, this is uh, my Graftobian foundation palette. I'm just going to spray the inside of this with alcohol because it's already wet so the alcohol won't dry it out. And I'm just going to let that sit for a second and air dry and move on to the next palette. So this time alcohol. And I have my Lysol wipes. That was probably overkill. But I have this scotch tape here so it protects my labels. So that way it doesn't get it um, faded and doesn't peel off. And then spray the inside of this with the alcohol. And let that dry. So these little guys, all these little smaller containers, I'm just going to wipe them down. I didn't use all of them, but it's really quick and easy to clean these. My little foundation bottles. And it's always good to do this, like, periodically anyways, even if you don't have like an active gig the, the time before just because it keeps everything clean looking and you know just make sure it it sustains your kit so this is what I use on my fingers my steel palette it goes like this so I'm going to spray this um, with alcohol oh, as well I cleaned it already after the gig but okay so pretty much and then this was my disposable bag I packed for her so I didn't even use everything in here but I did you have mascara spoolies I use um, as well as a puff so that's actually still sanitized so I can reuse this and just refill it for the next client all right so that was pretty simple so all this can go back in this bag when everything is dry something I want to show you really quickly is these palettes right here 
from Graftobian. I obviously use some colors more than others. So you can actually buy the just the five pan um, or the individual color in some cases and refill them. So I have here the original five pan corrector palette. And I'm going to take this yellow right here and this lighter color and I'm just going to put them back inside. So just double checking it's called yellow highlight. So all I'm going to do is going to take my clean metal spatula and literally just scoop it out and then carefully just scoop it back in. I know with these, um, these corrector shades they definitely sell these individually as well. So as you can see I easily refilled it and I can just go ahead and wipe the edges just to make sure that there's no residue hanging off. And that will last me a whole bunch more clients because that's one of my favorite colors. Okay, so this is my original foundation pack in my main kit. So what I'm actually gonna do right now is open this up. And now that everything is kind of clean again, I'm gonna put them back where they belong and not worry about contaminating their original stash. So those will go back in there. So this is, if I was doing a full gig, I would pack this entire thing. But since I had one client, I knew what shade she was. I just brought this. And then this is where my um, foundation palettes go. So I'm just going to put one in here. And then the other one goes with the label back here. And then this palette also I have the salmon concealer from Eve Pearl goes right in here. Alright, so I packed that back into my original kit and it's nice and clean. So this is my main sack for my skincare. So I'm gonna put those other items back in here. So in this one, I'm going to put these guys, which are my Laura Mercier moisture masks. That goes back in here. The eye cream will go back in here. And my Aquaphor will go back in here. Now what I'm going to do while I have time is I'm going to take a puff out. And I'm going to put it back in this individual client disposable sack. And I'm also going to take out one of these makeup remover wipes and this will go in here as well so that way I can be ready for the next client and lastly my Laura Mercier primer goes back in my primer's bag as well as my Smashbox primer so this is how you pretty much repack your kit um, once you're done with like your mini micro kits okay so let's go ahead and handle this next sack right here. This is eyes and lips. So some of these items I'd use and some I didn't, but I'm gonna definitely use my um, Lysol wipe or alcohol to clean every one of them, just in case. So I use this lip gloss. I'm gonna clean off my mascara. And there's a little makeup that got on here so I can get rid of that as well. Didn't use this, use this. Okay, so now for pencils, I'm definitely going to spray this with alcohol. And then I'm actually gonna run the edges of this down onto a tissue, retractable brow pencil, so you can't sharpen off the edge. So I'm just gonna wipe off the outer layer. Now for this pencil, I did use this regular liner pencil. So what I'm gonna do is spray the inside the cap and I can get in there with a Q-tip. I'm going to sharpen the pencil. And then I'm gonna spray it with alcohol. And then I'm gonna get it with a tissue. Okay, so that way I can double disinfect it. 
for these lipstick palettes. These are also wet, so I can just go ahead and spray them with alcohol. These are from Viseart. Okay, so with these metal tools like these, I'm definitely going to spray, spray these down really well with alcohol. And you could even use um, C3 bacterium, things that will work on non-porous surfaces if you wanted to. But these are easy to clean because they're metal. You definitely want to clean the pad as well if it's like an eyelash curler. Okay, so this is a powder palette right here. So this is a little bit different. I know for a fact I use this middle one right here. Okay, so this one I'm going to take a tissue and I'm going to wipe off the top layer of the shadow. Okay, so that way it kind of removes whatever was touched. And then I'm going to take my Beauty Seal Clean now. This is not alcohol, this is Beauty Seal Clean. And then I'm going to spray it as well as the rest of the palette. I can also take my UV sanitizer wand and turn it on. Do not have the light face me. And I'm going to hold it two to three inches away. And then for about 10 seconds, I'm going to let the light hit. So if you're being really safe, you can take out this guy right here. So what you can do with the eyeshadows like this, if you're trying to be really safe, is when you wipe it on the tissue first, you can work from that and double dip your brush into that. Or you can take one of these facial rounds, you know, the client that you use toner with. Or even you can take a spoolie and you can scrape off some of this. There are multiple ways to do it, so that's just one of them. Okay, so now I can go ahead and put everything back in my original bag. So this is my brow bag right here. So this is where my pencils go. And the brow powder palette. I can put my pencils back now. All right, so here is my lip bag my from my main kit so I'm gonna put these palettes back in here I'm gonna return these lip pencils And we're good to go. Okay, so this is the last thing that I packed or, or some palettes. This one I put um, the powders and blushes that she needed into a Dome Z palette. So first I'm going to do is wipe off the entire surface. Let me just go ahead and take this out so it's easier. Okay, and then of course I'm going to spray it with Beauty So Clean. So I'm going to do that for every single one of these. Now I'm going to run my UV wand over it. The reason why I do this with powders is because in this case, I did not um, scrape or remove the product onto a tissue. I just double dipped it. So I want to make sure that they're really clean. But um, in another situation, I do want to try um, removing it on a tissue. It's just that this gig was kind of like chaotic a little bit and we were in a really tight space like in a bathroom sharing with another artist and another person doing their makeup. So I was like, okay, I'm just trying to try to get it done. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is return this all to their original palette. So this is my shimmer palette, powder palette, blush palette, And lastly, highlight and contour palette. And then I'm going to clean this palette out. This is just a Lysol wipe because this is kind of like my, um, stays in my Zuka backpack as like my individual client palette, especially for like brides. So I pack this with whatever that specific client shades are. Okay guys, so I just finished cleaning out my micro kit 
disinfecting everything, putting it back in my main kit. Now I'm going to go ahead and wash and clean my makeup brushes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you like these kind of videos, let me know. And I'll do um, other kind of like kit, new kit packing, organizing, sanitizing in the midst of COVID. So I'll see you guys next time. Ciao, Bellas.